Hello chess friends and welcome to the channel. The online Olympiads ended yesterday in the most unexpected way. And at the end of the video I will ask you for your opinions on this matter. So what happened? The first mini-match between the two teams in the final, India and Russia, ended with six draws. In the second mini-match, Alexandra Goryachkina won a long endgame against Ampi Koneu. Three other games were drawn and the remaining two games are the problematic ones. We will watch together the game Deshmuk vs Shuvalova, in my opinion the decisive game of this final. Let's get started. Divya Deshmuk, very young Indian player, very strong, she um, opens the game with knight to f3, the ready opening, knight to f6, g3, here comes d5 and now bishop to g2, e6, short castle for white and b5, d3, bishop to e7, knight in b goes to d2, now this knight, this is a very good move because this knight is able to support both of these pawn pushes, now bishop to b7, and here comes c3 that is a bit timid because e4 or c4 they look a bit stronger, short castle for black, Queen to c2, c5, I like very much this sort of French uh, setup against the Reti, root to e1, and Divya is working hard to push e4. Knight to c6, e4, Queen to c7 is an inaccuracy because Black must keep improving a strong position here on the Queen side, so root to c8 is the move to play. And now, knight back to f1. This uh, white's plan is slow, because of course now the knight would like to jump to e3, but slow, but steady. Knight to f1, and now rook in f goes to d8. Good move. e5, attacking the knight, the game is now original. Knight back to d7, and the pawn is under attack. Bishop to f4, adding a new protection. And now, a5, h4 a4, a3, now with this a5 completely blocked, rook to c8 and queen away from the d5, queen to b6 is a powerful maneuver, instead here comes h6, knight to e3, knight to b6, this maneuver is completely wrong because uh, this knight has no goals here, has no good squares where to move, only one, probably, if you push d4, probably to jump to d5, but not the good idea. And so, in this position, white is better. This knight jump, instead, is the good one, because he's bringing a new piece that uh, um, is going to attack the king side. Knight to g4, now bishop back to f8, and we are at the first critical moment of the game, because Divya increases the pressure against h6 with queen to d2, but uh, white instead was already able to unleash the attack. Let's go back one move. In this position, bishop capture on h6 is crashing because black can't recapture. If g capture on h6, there is knight to f6 with check. If the king moves to h8, he checkmate in two. After d4, nothing can stop the queen checkmate. So king to g7. D4 is coming, the bishop must move away, but the bishop is lost, because the bishop must move away to clear f8 for the king, but can't move to e7, if not queen check, the king moves, and he check, he checkmate, because the king can't escape. So the bishop must move away, but only to d6, and so the bishop will be lost, queen to h7 comes with check, king to f8. Queen capture with check, king to e7, also the bishop is lost, and this is a winning position for white. Let's go back to our game, instead Divya continues with queen to d2, but now the king can move to h7, d4, knight to d7, because now black wants to bring back the pieces to help the king, but it's already too late, bishop to f1, the bishop would like to give this uh, fantastic check, so here comes c4 control in d3, but there is another way, the zigzag, like we say in it, I don't know if this is also an English term, anyway, there is another way 
to reach this beautiful diagonal that begins with bishop to e2. Knight back to e7, bishop to d1, of course the target is bishop to c2 we check, and now knight to f5 trying to close this dangerous diagonal, but bishop to c2 comes the same, now rook to a6, simplest way to open the position is knight to e3 because this knight is still pinned, instead here comes king to g2, and the idea of course is to bring the rook to the h5, Queen to c8, and now rook to h1. King back to g8, the knight, the knight is not pinned anymore, but white is winning the game. Divya already lost some chances to open the king side, but now is ready to begin an unstoppable attack. Let's try one possible continuation. Now, after king to g8, there is knight to e3, but probably black will not change the knight on e3, because uh, we'll be afraid to recreate this dangerous battery, queen and bishop. Knight to b6, so that the queen is now adding a second protection to the knight, but here comes g4. Knight back to e7, h5, knight to d7, with the idea to give some space uh, to the king side with f6, but here comes g5. In this position, I wouldn't know what to play, probably h capture, but now the bishop capture, the king moves away from the semi-open file, and now bishop to g6 is a strong sacrifice, an idea that uh, we already watched uh, in the last game, Nakamura versus Karts, and that uh, I uploaded some days ago here in the channel. Now, this idea is crashing, because of course the bishop will capture on f7, so only way is to accept the piece, but now the h pawn recaptures we check, king to g8, bishop captures, bishop captures, knight to g4, and this is already a four checkmate, because the first rook will move to h7, then the rook will sacrifice itself on the pawn, the queen is coming, the other rook is coming too, the second knight is jumping to g5, and this, this will become checkmate. But let's go back to the actual game, after king to g8, in this winning position, white was not able to continue the game because Divya lost the connection and lost on time. Same thing happened in the match Zipenko versus Neal, but in that game Neal with the black pieces was, was not winning, the position was more or less equal. India of course sent an appeal and here comes the Salomonic decision uh, taken by President Djorkovic. Gold medal for both Russia and India. Am I disappointed? Not at all, because uh, I think that uh, it was probably the best decision to take. Now, in these uh, cases, you are never sure which one is the best thing to do, but uh, my opinion, President Djorkovic probably had uh, the best idea, because during this year, with the coronavirus and many other crises, a lot of people around the world suffered great losses. The Olympic Games were always in the spirit of global sportsmanship and friendish and sort and friendship. This year in the chess world we had these uh, online Olympiads and now two countries are happy. So I'm happy too. But of course, let me know in the comments below the video what are your opinions and if you like this uh, online Olympiad. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe, of course, and we will meet soon with a new game. Goodbye!